Hey, I'm Shelby. And I'm Courtney. We're exploring our past. Looking forward to our future. And living for the present. All, All while, while learning, learning how to how live, to live magically. magically. Hello. Hey. We skipped a week. Sorry about that, folks. I know. But also, I like skipped a week with you. We've been busy, gone. Where we have you both, been? We've both been busy. I've, yeah, I have been not crazy. been that busy. But where where have you been? Sale. What have you been doing? Um, I just got back from New York. Okay, tell me so everything. I will tell you everything. Okay. It was a wonderful trip. Um, I went because my husband works for the New York Times, and he was called in for work. And I was like, you're not going to New York without Duh. me. So basically doubled the length of the trip. <laughs> I know you were I gone for a along. while. Yeah, I was gone for like a week. Yeah. But it was awesome. Um, I got to meet so many cute babies. Amazing. And yeah, you like had like, Stephanie. you saw all the people. I saw all the people. My Best friend Stephanie had her second child. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Of so course. cute. Um, so I got to go, I know, naturally. So I got to go see her and Harvey, her son. Amazing. Um, who's my buddy now, which was really cool. <laughs> and we got to see Kate and Fred, and I got to meet I'm their so little one. I'm so jealous of that. Hello, Kate. Yeah, it was really cool. It was some intense bonding time. Really nice. <laughs> That's been a long time coming. Yeah. For like, you haven't seen Kate in and, like. Yeah, I've been waiting. I just like yeah, wait any longer. So I was so excited that they live in that area that I could go up and meet their little one and hold it and love it and all the things, all the things. Yeah. <laughs> and then other than that, um, it was AJ's birthday weekend. So mine the too. Bro Obviously yours. <laughs> yeah, you have the same birthday. I know AJ and I. He texted me. He got to me first, so he said, happy birthday, birthday twin. And I was like, I love my birthday so much more because I get to share it with you. <laughs> I, I know. I love that, too. It's so, And it makes it easier for me to remember. So That, too. I'll take it. But you celebrated his birthday in New York. We celebrated his birthday and some of the bros. Um, that's what we call his friend group that was in, the like, our wedding party. Yeah. Um, flew. They either lived there or flew in. So we had, like, a big gathering of the bros which was pretty so fun. fun we were just missing Tuj, which was a bummer mm. but um we had a great time it was so nice to see everybody and catch up and um just all the things be in the city have you been just like now relaxing this whole week i've been relaxing <laughs> we just got our pup back from mom she oh. goes to my mom's house for daycare yeah. and she's been a little sick which happens mm. to her all the time so we're used to it but Speak aj of. and i've been like up overnight taking care of the dog oh so. my gosh Speco. Yeah. Well, I hope yeah. Spec feels better. Thanks. What about you? How'd you celebrate your birthday? Um, what did we do for my birthday? We we didn't really do a whole lot. We went to dinner. It was like oh, on your actual birthday, but yeah, like Reed and Ange took you out. Yeah, Reed and Ange. Fun. Ange found this like cool little um workshop to decorate um donuts. So we went to like Boston yeah. for the day and did that. Um, that was really fun and different. And I got to have bar taco. Nice, he, nice. You know, I can't go wrong with bar taco. Um, and then we had, like, my my little brother's birthday is the day before mine. And he oh. loves to celebrate his birthday with me is what I'm realizing. So we always have, like, a little family cookout. So on Sunday, everybody came over. Had, they came over to your house or mom's came, house? Came over to my house. And nice. for a little birthday cookout. I was like, Cute. it's whatever. I'm 31. Ryan, you're 19. Nobody cares about you. And he was like, well, we got to celebrate. <laughs> I'm like, okay. AKA, it's a he wanted his presents, you know? Right, right. It's his first birthday as like a grown up. He's not a grown up. I mean, you're right. Like, he, he's not a grown up. <laughs> where he has to get used to like, it's not like a big party and like with decorations and inviting all your friends over. Well, and, like, correct. But like, it's mom. So like. True. She like mom probably did it up. Yeah, she got so much food and things. Like she always buys us each a cake, which is very nice because we have different birthdays. Also, I was like a brat when he was born because I was like, I cannot believe Heard. I'm sharing a birthday with him, and he's a boy, and I wanted a girl. 
And yeah. then it ended up being the best thing ever. But Aww. I'm still convinced. I will go on the record and say this. So my mom was supposed to have Ryan. Now we're off track, of course. Like, end of April. And okay. she was scheduled for a C-section on my birthday. And oh, I was geez. like, oh my gosh, this is the worst day of my life. Turning yeah. 12 is going to suck because I'm getting a brother on my birthday. Then she went into labor the night before and had him supposedly on May 2nd. But I am like still convinced that she like told the doctor, can you please just say that he was born on May 2nd <laughs> at like 11.57? Because I think it's when he was born. It's like 11.57. Like he just made the cutoff before my birthday. Nice. And I'm like waiting for her to someday finally come without with the truth and say he was born on your birthday. But it's fine. That is hilarious. <laughs> I saw you like commented something on her Facebook about that and I didn't know what it was about. Yeah. So I'm so glad to know the backstory. I'm just going to keep pressing it until but my mom's not real. My mom is the worst liar ever. So I don't know if that's actually a thing, but this is what I'm convinced. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um. Yeah. We've been working. We've been trying to finish our basement. That's the latest I, and greatest. You're blowing my mind with that basement because it is huge. And I thought, I don't know why I thought that your basement was like not full height. Well, it's like, it's still low ceilings like they're not like like, you can stand up oh yeah we can stand up but they're probably like seven foot ceilings fine yeah cool they're doable don't have any basketball players over well exactly yeah because like so we're doing it ourselves because our contractor who did like the rest of our house he's pretty tall and he was like i'd really rather not finish this because he has a bad back and he thought he was gonna be like slouching a lot doing Mm -hmm. it so like it's definitely shorter but yeah it's still but you're like hanging drywall you're not just like slapping a coat of paint on the wall you're like i wish we could do that we're not like we're like finishing it but like to our capabilities like we could barely use a drill last week so like do you have to use like a saw to cut the pieces not of drywall drywall you just like basically use like a cutting like a razor blade knife yeah cut it down and then you just like bend it and it snaps oh cool we've done a lot of youtube i'm really impressed and then my uncle who lives next door helps us because right right nice we need some direction (laughs) Yeah, we, it's funny you're working on that because we're working on, we're like, we're talking about putting a bar in. And so we had an electrician come and run new outlets for Mm -hmm. like blenders and stuff. And so in order to get the electricity over there, they had to cut holes every like inch in my ceiling. So there's like 12 holes across my dining room ceiling now. So yeah, but AJ's like, I'm a man, I can fix it. So you have high ceilings though. I, they're high yeah they're very high i've even been up on the ladder and i'm like i'm not doing this so i don't know how he's doing it but it's been an interesting process we've also been watching a lot of youtube and gathering a lot of opinions from like everybody has an opinion about how you should do it everybody yeah so we've been learning yeah i've been w- watching so much youtube and it's it's gonna be such an accomplishment once it is done and i think it's gonna be like our favorite room in the house because like we did it ourselves and totally yeah so sort of did it ourselves as much as we can but so tell me like the vision for the basement right now all that's down there is i assume a washer and a dryer so peloton stuff our basement is in like two sides of it that's only half of our basement that we're finishing the other half is where my pelotons are and the washer and dryer and like the furnace and the like the water heater and all that gross stuff is over by my peloton so this we're only okay. finishing this other side which kyle's office is going to get moved down there and he wants to put like three tvs on the wall and we'll have like his desk and then we'll put we have our still have our old set of couches so we're going to put that down there and then we don't have a dining room because i got rid of it Although we only had like an eat-in kitchen, basically. We never really had a dining room. We had like an eat-in kitchen, but I got rid of that table. Okay. And I was like, well, I'd really love to have like a table. So I think I have an old table that I, it was a really nice dining room table that I was like, oh yeah, I should use that for packaging orders. And it's still upstairs. So I'd like to put that down there because we like to play like games and stuff and we have nowhere to play like card games because we don't have a table. Yeah. So I want to put that down there, but I'm afraid my vision is going to be... Like, once all that stuff is in that room, it's going to shrink it. It's gonna be, yeah. So. Why don't you, like, dry it out on paper with measurements? 
yeah, I could do that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm buying anything new. So I'm like, it's sure. kind of like right now I'm just like waiting for it to be done and we'll move the stuff down there. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work because we already have it. You know what I mean? Right. And then we'll, I get the same way. We'll go back to the drawing board if it doesn't work, but you just want to have the stuff in the space so you can kind of like rearrange it, see what fits yeah, where. Exactly. Yeah. So that's my so, vision for it. It's going to be like a sportsy, like man cave, but not because I'm decorating it. But if it was up to Kyle, he was like, we're going to put a ping pong table down there. Oh, and, and I was like, no, we're not. We're not doing that. But no, let's finish it first. Yeah, exactly. So what's the next step? You have the drywall up. We have the drywall. We put, we filled in like the cr- big cracks because we weren't very good at drywall. So we had to fill in the big cracks with like this certain kind of mud. And now we have to go through and like mud and tape it all. Yep. And then you okay. have to sand it. And then you yep. have to paint it. Yep. And then we're going to put the flooring down. Nice. What flooring are you doing? Just like a vinyl type. Like it's something good Perfect. for the basement. That's because like our basement is kind of humid and stuff. So you need like something that's like humid proof. Yeah. When our, our house flooded uh, oh, yeah. many moons ago. Yeah. And we replaced hardwood with um, vinyl plank. And yeah. like definitely a downgrade. But also I'm so happy we have it because it's much easier to maintain. And right. like it's so it was so much cheaper. Exactly. So we've been looking. Of course, we've been looking. We've been looking at like Lowe's. And there's like all these colors. There's like, well, there's these six colors in the ones that we want. And the one that mm-hmm. I like the most is the most expensive. I'm like, of course. What the crap? Let me guess. Does it have like a gray undertone? No, I don't want the gray undertone. Oh, okay. Good. I wanted like a, like a natural wood looking one. Yeah. And that's the, the most expensive. The gray is like out, I guess. Well, my thing is in our basement. So we painted the ceiling black. It's already. You don't see this? Black? It look. It sounds crazy, but we didn't. We took all the drywall off the ceiling, so it's just the regular beams in a basement. So we okay. painted the entire thing black. Covered like we painted any wires and piping that are up in those ceilings. They're all painted black, so it's like hidden. Oh, cool. So but it's like industrial, right? And if we cool. put drywall, it would just shrunk the room even more because they're not yep. high ceilings. So we painted the whole thing black. Now we have like three windows, but they're small basement windows there. Right. And then we are going to put up like I think eight like LED lights, so it will be pretty bright down there. But still. Then the walls, I'm going to do, like, a really, really light, like, neutral gray to match the rest of my house. But if I would put gray flooring in, it's just going to be, like, so... Gray everywhere. Gray everywhere. Yeah. So I wanted, like, a natural wood, and I thought it would even, like, brighten up the space a little bit more. Well, and I assume, is your table that you have you want to put down there wood? It's a dark wood. Okay. Yeah. So, like, wood looks good with wood, I think. Yeah. Wood looks good with wood. I agree. Good choice. Yeah. So we'll get there. Keep you updated. Nice. Anyhow. That's a fun project. So fun. Uh. I was sore for <laughs> I was sore for like a week after putting up drywall. So I believe it. <laughs> like the squatting because I was on drill duty. So the squatting oh to like gosh. it was so bad. And how about how is Kyle? We haven't um it, we haven't touched since he started his new job. Like now he's finally settled in. Like in a routine, I mean, as much of a routine as he can be in, considering the weird hours he works. But Very like, weird hours. How's it going? It's going great. He still loves his Same. job. Um, it sounds like he's moving up very shortly, which is nice, but I don't want to, like, say it and jinx it, but it's, like, in the work. So things are we going great. We believe in him. Yeah, we definitely do. He's, like, that, yeah. he cares so much about his job. It's, like, I want to shake him but also i'm like so proud of him so it's like but i have to like he works he technically has to clock in and works hourly and sometimes i have to be like what are you doing are you clocked in because like he would just keep working if i let him he just like enjoys it yeah which is great so yeah that is great no complaints for him that's for sure cool complaints from his wife perhaps but well what you gonna do right (laughs) pays the bills um exactly what else? Is there anything else? What's um, going on with Pixie? You had a release. You had a non-release um, sale of like inventory. Yeah, I did that this week. Um, before nice. I came here, my printer wasn't working and it was driving me nuts. So that's where we're at. Yikes! You need a new printer. 
it's like I finally got it working, but then I like ran out of time by the time I had to come here. But like while it was happening, I was like, this is the worst part of small business. A or, printer? Yes. A, a printer. Yes, like, I agree. Printers, a regular printer, a label printer. It makes me think I need like anger management courses. I I remember I like distinctly remember sitting with um Dana from Aloha years or from what are they called now? Factory Factory fifty five. Fifty five. Yeah. Um sitting with her at Epcot and <laughs> us like talking about the plight of being a small business owner as it pertains to label printers. Which, by the way, any small business owners out there that are listening, if you're still using a Dymo, you're doing it wrong and you need a Rolo. Oh, do you have a Rolo? I have a Rolo and that is where it's at. Does the Rolo do um, non-stickers as well? Like, can you print paper on it? I, or no? I am that, I don't know. Okay. But well, it's, it's a thermal printer. It's a thermal printer. Okay. And like a Dymo, not everybody's going to care about this, but a Dymo labels, I think you can only, is it like 250 in a roll? Right. I think my Rolo is like, I have a stack of like a thousand before it runs out. Oh, and out. they're like folded instead yeah. of rolled? Nice. Yeah. So I never run nice. out. It doesn't get jammed all the time. Yeah. The Dymo is a jerk. Like the, it has its own personality. My old, I've had two Dymos and like one of them has pieces missing because I used to just like bang the crap out of it. I'm like, why the heck are you not working? Yep. Just because. I don't have any use for one anymore, except like when I mail stuff to friends. But even now you're like convincing me to ditch the Dymo. Rollo is where it's at. But today my nice. regular printer wasn't working. Just decided that it like yeah. didn't want to print half of the pages. And I was like, okay, is this real life right now? And I was like, sometimes they just need a little nappy. It, it was a whole thing this morning. So that's where we're, <laughs> that's where we're at on the small business front. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> but like that. cool sale and um my selfless tooting of your horn everybody needs to get on shelby's texting list because i love getting my weekly text from you <laughs> thanks i just love it i think it's so cool it's like a nice way to stay connected i obviously as we just learned because i didn't know about your black ceilings pay like no attention to social media Fair. anybody not just you but like i love getting the texts and like being in the know about what's thanks. going on in and you text in, me back which is funny of, well, yeah, of course. I can like yeah, and that. shout out to anybody. You can text her back. So like, I don't usually respond because I have to like look at it on my computer. But I do see the response. Yeah, you don't know who it is. For some reason, I know that yours is you. Well, because I wrote something stupid that sounded maybe. like me. Yeah, maybe yeah. that's why. But yeah, I don't know who they. I just see like your number. Yeah, yeah. Just like cool. Get on the text list. Thanks. How do they do that? Um, well, you can do it on the website on the bottom left okay. corner, and then you'll get 10% off your first, your next order if you, like, place it in a certain amount of time. And, yeah, just go on the website. That's where. Cool. I love it. Thanks. Appreciate you. You're welcome. All right. Um, today comes out on Monday, and the day before was Mother's Day. So let's do a little shout out to our moms. I love it. Let's shout out to the moms. Shout out to the moms, all moms, not just our moms, all moms. but moms, yeah. fur moms. So happy Mother's Day to you. Um, yep. Those moms, who have lost their mom. Th those who have lost their mom. Those who are trying to be a mom. Those who are trying to be a mom. Those, all moms. Those who have no interest in being a mom, those who just appreciate their own mom. Exactly. Single dads. Happy Mother's Single Day dads. to you. We count you on Mother's Day. Yep. All of the moms. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, and I thought it would be fun to do, you know, like, can you do like a little kid project when you're in like the first grade and you have to oh like, my gosh, fill about out, your mom. yeah, you fill out the thing about your mom. Yeah. I love it. Let's virtually fill out the thing about our mom. Let's do it. Okay. So I have one here. It says my mom's name is <laughs> mine's Laura. Mine's Gloria. <sighs> our moms are very similar. This just should be pretty fun. I think. Our moms are oh, They are. Her favorite food is... Do you know your mom's favorite food? Um, I don't know her favorite food, but I do know that she loves this Oreo cake that I make, so I'm making it for Mother's Day. <laughs> Great. Um, I I actually don't know my mom's favorite food, but I know that her favorite, like, she loves to go to the Olive Garden. 
does she? Mine does too. But I also don't know if she just like loves to go to the Olive Garden because my dad hates the Olive Garden. So it's just like nice. we go to the Olive Garden or if she really loves the Olive Garden. But that's what I mean. It's not funny that they like love the Olive Garden. Like, and I grew up with <laughs> normal like mom and pop Italian restaurants around too. Yeah. But like, no, the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden. Well, and my yeah. dad's like Italian. So like my dad right. thinks Olive Garden is trash, which of course. It kind of is, but it's so good. It is good trash. It's so good. Um, my mom's favorite color is... My mom's is purple. Really? Oh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me, actually. Purple's very, like, royal and regal and just sounds like your mom. <laughs> it's like My gotten... mom is pink and glitter. Oh, that makes like sense. Just like me. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. I love it when she... Ooh. I know. This could be a lot. I love it when my mom helps me. Is that pathetic? I don't know. I love when my mom helps me because, like, something really creative always comes out of it. Like, even if we're just filing papers, she'll come up with some, like, really unique way to make it more organized or, like, more fun. (laughs) And more fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I do love when my mom helps me. But, like, my mom also is very creative where I got it from Mm -hmm. and so I love when yeah like when we when she has like ideas or she does I don't want to say when she does things for me but she always does things for me better than I can do it for myself yeah like when your mom makes us costumes yeah like we could never do that but like she like goes above and beyond when she does it or like she just she doesn't um, she never phones it in right she just um sewed all those patches onto my hats for pixie I do pay her, yeah. but she does all of that, and she just, like, finds better ways to do it than I would ever think. I can't wait. I have some business questions about mom when we're done with this Okay, that I just, like, have to know, because, or the people need to know, because your mom is so cool, and so is mine. So is like, yours. In relation to our biz. Okay. My mom is really good at... Mm, 3D printing? <laughs> yes. That's an odd thing, but uh, my mom got... My husband and I a 3D printer for Christmas like two years ago and it never left her house. (laughs) We like set it up at her house on Christmas. She loves it. She just made me these awesome um, tie dye looking birdhouses to hang up outside. Oh, fun. Yeah, they're really cute. One looks like a camper on wheels. I love that. Yeah. My my mom's really, my mom's really good at like any sort of crafting. Like Mm -hmm. literally any, you give her a task and she will do it. And, like, do it well. Yeah. And, like, yeah. she doesn't know it, but I think she's a perfectionist. Yeah. She's going to she hear is. this and I, be like, I want a 3D printer. <laughs> hey, we can get her one. <laughs> She'll be on that next. She's amazing. Do you remember when she hand-painted our capes? Yeah, that was, like, out of control. Um, They were beautiful. They were so perfect. And she just couldn't, obviously couldn't find like a piece of fabric to replicate. Yeah, but I'm like. This one of a kind pattern. It can be close enough. It is, I agree. It, it will be fine. And she's like, no, I'm going to paint it. Yeah. She like legit went to town. It's insane. It's amazing. Um, My mom and I like to. Ooh. Garden. Ooh. Yeah. We love to garden together. My mom in school studied plants and botany and flora and fauna, whatever all of that means. So she like knows the plants and okay. she knows like we live in zone nine B, which means you can grow certain things. Oh, and not she certain like things. knows, and, knows. Yeah. She like knows. She's like, you can't put that next to that because it's soil is different or it'll wow. cross pollinate. Yeah. And like, can she like look at the plant and be like, that one's sick and you need to do this. Oh yeah. She always comes over and she's like, what is wrong with you? Why is this happening? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> I'll do better. Yeah, I'll do better. Um, my mom and I, so I'm the only girl. So I, I'm going to say that we love to, like, my mom loves to, like, gossip with me. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> About, like, all the things. Yeah. I'm like her little bestie. I love that. And we do crafts. You have always been very things. close with your mom. I am very close with my mom, yeah. And my grandmother. Also, like, shout out to my grandmother because I'm very close with both of them. Yes. Uh, Okay, lastly, on our little first grade project, my mom always says, You are my sunshine. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's a good one because I was gonna minus my mom always says right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh yeah, my mom always says hello. <laughs> and so late, I I now say right a lot, and, my, and Kyle will be like, okay, Laura, <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, that's- <laughs> That's the same with hello. Like if somebody's not paying attention or they're not getting it, I'm just like, hello, are you following? Do you get it? <laughs> oh, that's, that's where you get that? Yeah, that's totally Gloria. I've, I've, I've heard that from you. Yeah. Okay, so that's our, our little first grade project about our moms. I love our first grade project. I also want to touch on some of the things that our moms have done for us because both of us have, like you said, these very crafty Mm. Um, smart, independent woman moms. Yes. And they, both of them helped us. I mean, I, I absolutely could have never done my business without my mom. It's funny you say that because my mom is obviously very crafty and she will make all of the things. And I mean, seriously, I'm not joking when you say like, can you do this? She will figure out a way to do, make that project happen. Yes. But my mom, when it comes to like entrepreneurial stuff, she would do all of those projects for free and not charge a dime for anything. And that's for basically anyone. Right. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like your time is worth money. Which, So I don't know where I got that aspect of it. But as far as like the creating aspect, it all came from her. But it's funny because she then put a screen printer in her house and has learned I to still sc- can't believe that yeah and has learned to screen print shirts and she does do some for me but she now she does it for like others too and for sure. like other businesses and I was just talking to her the other day and she does not charge nearly enough I'm like what are you doing like is that even worth your time which is she's more selfless than I will ever be but I'm like like she my little brother was in like the playoffs for basketball and she just went and made them all t-shirts, but like also not just like all the kids t-shirts. She like makes like all the fans t-shirts too. And I'm like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> At least make like it like a it. fundraiser or something. <laughs> like, uh, Yeah, my mom is the same. I'm always like, what does it need to be free? And my mom was actually an entrepreneur. Um, she was a stay-at-home mom first and foremost, yeah. but she made jewelry with Swarovski crystals. Oh, okay. You told me that your mom was an entrepreneur, but I didn't know exactly what she did. So I was excited to... Yeah. So, I mean, we did like a lot of craft fairs and we had like a little store, which is where I first learned how to like work retail. I sat at the counter on the weekends and Fun. like helped sell jewelry to people and um, learned that you could have that work-life balance too, where, I mean, we were very lucky. My dad was a doctor and he was definitely the breadwinner and all of those things. But like, well, I was going to say, you hustle. You, yeah, I was going to like, your mom didn't have to because right. your because your dad was a doctor, but like, right. She still wanted to go and be entrepreneurial, which is amazing. Yeah. It was super inspiring to watch and really cool that she would let me be part of that because yeah. I was this dumb kid, you know, and I, I can't imagine like, the patience that it takes to sit down with a little kid and bead string beads on a let's be real string our moms have more patience than we will ever have ever (laughs) yeah they are like filled with patience especially for us god yeah i just the things they've done for us like my mom um used to make all our snack packs for baskets like at her house because she lives next door to a sam's club so she would like go put the innards together and then I would pick them up for her by the case and make baskets. Amazing. I couldn't I literally couldn't afford to employ someone at that time. Right. So like if I hadn't had her, I couldn't have done it. Yeah. I mean my mom's been packaging orders with me since forever. Yeah. It's crazy. And then she was making like when we did vinyl shirts, her and I would be weeding vinyl together all oh, the time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, all the time. And then she started screen printing and yeah, even so she just did those hats for me just recently. But we I did those pixie shirts and those were actually mm-hmm. like a screen print iron on. And she was like, oh, I'm I'm at home not doing anything. If you want Ryan to pick up those iron ons, I can iron them for you. And I was like, OK, great. <laughs> so she yeah, like you did, will always take the help. She did like half of those for me. I went over the other day to finish them and she brought me home lunch on her lunch. It was great. Nice. It was great. 
And, and it's great. She's still working, right? Yeah, she's still working at the post yeah, office. Mine too. And... Yeah, she crushes it at the post office. Sure. She hates it. I think so. No, she does. She's like star employee always. I yeah, and I like love sending you mail because I always write notes to your mom like <laughs> as though she's back there hand sorting the packages <laughs> herself. I'm like, hey. If you send it to the PO box, she always gets it. Nice. But nice, it, yeah, nice. it's just. If I can be half the mom my mom was. And it's funny because, like, I don't know where my mom totally got it. Because, like, my grandmother, I also love and adore my grandmother. She is my best friend as well. But, like, my mom is, like, loves to cook and loves to bake. Grammy was not the cooker. My papa was. And okay. my gram is not, like, crafty, like, mom. So, it's, yeah, it's just funny how all that worked. Yeah. I mean, she my, pursued her own thing. She was definitely like has work ethic. That's definitely where my mom got her work ethic for sure, which is probably where I got it too. But and my grandma's like has love that everybody wishes they could have. Like she loves yeah. everybody. But um, yeah. it's f- like I always like where where did mom learn how to cook? <laughs> oh my gosh, good question. Maybe yeah. she learned because like mom wasn't cook her mom wasn't cooking so yeah. she was like i want to learn a new skill that i don't know and then she married an Pretty- italian and now here we are so i love it <laughs> anywho i love it so happy moms mother's are the best day. moms are the best happy mother's day moms to all of the moms out there all okay moms. now to end this we're not ending just yet but we're gonna play a little game would you rather? Ooh, spicy. People on the podcast group, Living Magically Podcast, go join it. Sent us some good, some actually some really creative would you rathers. Let's hear them. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Laura Donaldson. She sent in two that are really good, but the first one. Would you rather cook with Remy in Paris or Tiana in New Orleans? Easy. You first. Ooh. I think I'm going Tiana. I'm going Tiana. Just because she's like, I don't really love the term girl boss, but she's a girl boss. Yeah, same. Yeah, so I just want to hang with her and take in all of her knowledge. Same. And like, Remy doesn't sing. I want like some music in the kitchen. You're right, you're right. And like, what is he going to do? Like, is he going to be like on my head? Like, yeah, like pulling your hair. Yeah. yeah. No. I want like, yeah, I can't see it. Tiana. Okay, Laura also asked, would you rather Doug from Up or Abu from Aladdin, right? Oh. As your sidekick. Oh. Um, maybe Abu. I was, okay, I was just going back to our mom conversation about patience, because this is, like, you got to pick your patience here. Right. Because you got, like, Doug, who's, like, a little annoying, but... Yep. I could also see like Abu being pretty annoying too. Yeah, he's like a like a rascal. Yeah, but I think I'd have more fun with Abu. Yeah, I think I would have more fun with Abu. He's like a a rebel. Y- yeah, take you on a Doug's really crazy. Just like a little spacey. <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay, Oop. Morgan Horan. Would you rather watch Festival of the Lion King or Frozen sing along? Oh, that's a good one. It is a um, good one. I'm definitely going to say Festival of the Lion King just because it's like a spectacle. Same. But and... I love um, the Frozen sing-along. And I want to do like a quick shout out to the secret part of the Frozen sing-along that we love so much, which is during, I believe, Love is an Open Door. Um, if you watch the back, like the sound people oh, and the yeah. lighting crew, yeah. they're like dancing in the background having a a choreographed dance yes the song i love that i am always team festival of lion king i love it tumble monkeys are where it's at but like frozen sing-along is i think very underrated agree like even us adults with no kids will go there and there has been times where we're like laughing out loud because oh yeah the what do they call them the Oh, gosh. The storytellers. The storytellers, but they have, like, a name. Yeah. Uh, Aria and Eric. Aria right? and Eric. Yeah, but, that is. But they're, but they're called like, something. They have, the like, a... something. Yeah. Anywho, they are 
they'll go like go off track of their script and like both of them have no idea which we've seen a, a couple of really great shows where it's just hilarious yeah like roll on the floor jokes yes hilarious so good and so, the kids like don't get it the kids are just there for the songs which is great but like the adults are there for the slap. yes and also a very great long ac break yes yes okay would you rather eat popcorn or a mickey pretzel this was from Samantha Ooh. Hendricks. Um, I'm going to sound like real snotty, but I don't really like either of those. Snacks. I'm honestly, I don't love either either. Yeah. I'm like, like going, if I have like a $7 just to blow on a snack, I'm maybe getting a Mickey premium ice cream bar. Yeah. I'm not taking either of those. I love popcorn, popcorn. I love popcorn, but I love like movie theater popcorn with like the extra sloppy butter. Yeah, they, of course. They don't, they don't have that. And no, like, and like, uh, for me, it's so freaking hot out that like I don't want the salt and the yeah, hot. Yeah, it's just I'll take a cream cheese pretzel. Oh yeah, you do love the cream cheese pretzels. Do. Where do you get those? Um, they used to be at Tomorrowland, but I don't know if they're back yet. But the last time I've seen them, they were at um over by Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. Yes. Okay. They're so good. But yeah, I I think that's a really hot take from the both of us is that we could really pass on the popcorn. And the Mickey Pretzel. Yeah. Sorry about But, it. like, if we're talking about popcorn buckets, I don't want to pass because, like, I do love a cute popcorn bucket. You do? I mean, I'm not going to, like, keep it in my house. It's going to go away. I, I like, guess. can't understand the hype of a popcorn bucket. That's fair. I just, they're cute. Like, I remember when they had uh, mine trains, little, yeah, like, like, gem carts. what are you going to do with it? Well, that one in particular, I should have got a bunch of them and put them under my Christmas tree. <laughs> okay. Like, they were cute. But, like, other than that. But, like, I don't know. I can't get no, down right. with the what popcorn do do with buckets. Them? What do you do with them? And you just, like, carry them around? Yeah. That's so inconvenient. Agree. And um, also, um, Tokyo gets such better ones than us. Oh, yeah. So, like, if you really want to be in the popcorn bucket game, you got to go overseas. And I know that, like, like Casey, she loves pop the disney popcorn so she buys she? the yeah she like buys the bucket and brings her bucket in she has like a the regular bucket and she brings she it loves the, it because she loves the popcorn not because of the bucket yeah and then she gets like cheaper popcorn so like that's right. like fair yeah maybe maybe this whole issue is because we don't care for the popcorn right if i could get a refillable bucket of mickey ice cream bars i'd carry it around all day <laughs> exactly Okay, she also, Samantha Hendricks also asked this one. This one's kind of hard because we don't have kids, but would you rather rent a stroller or be one of those people, oh wait, rent a stroller and be one of those people or carry your kiddo around everywhere? Coming from a Ooh. parent, strollers are tricky, but I'm a stroller person up to age six. I, okay, I, we don't have kids, but I am waiting so that I can have a stroller at Disney to carry all my crap. True, true. A stroller is great because it has like, I don't know about the Disney strollers. I don't know if they have like a pocket, but normal strollers have like a spot where you can put all mom's junk. And like, maybe I'll get a popcorn bucket then. Right. Just hang it right off <laughs> the back. You have somewhere to put it. Exactly. So I'm team stroller. I don't judge anybody that has a stroller with like kids who are older because my legs hurt too. I can only imagine. So yeah, I don't judge anybody with a stroller. I, I feel for them because it's like a battering ram and like you, and, they can't help it. And I understand where it is hard because you do have to like park it before you go places. I will say, so I went to Disney a long time ago with a family that I nannied for. And mm -hmm. at the time we had, um, she was little, she was like, I don't even think she was two yet. And she was sleeping asleep in her stroller and we were going into um, the Princess Breakfast over in Norway. I forget what it's called. Akershus. Yeah. I do know what it's called, but I don't know how to say it. So that's why I said I don't know what it's called. Um, and we, <laughs> she was like passed out in her stroller and they wouldn't let us bring the stroller in to yeah. the restaurant. We had to like wake her up. So then we had like a screaming child and it was like, okay, this is eventually right. the mom that I was with. She was like, 
forget it. We're just bringing the stroller in because, like, what are we going to nice. move a chair and let me put my sleeping kid here at the stroller? So, like, in right. that aspect, I can understand where it's, like, a freaking pain to have the stroller. But. Right. God, you can carry could, so much water in that thing. I could see myself being, like, a a kid wearer also. Not when but they're. But, like, I bet it would get sweaty. Yeah. 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 So I'm vote like I'm I'm on the stroller. I'll be one of those people. Yeah. Well, plus like I love you can clip a fan to it. Yeah. Like cool yourself down. Cool baby down, but cool yourself down. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um Kristen Anderson asks, would you rather <laughs> Beach Club Villa or Polly Bungalow? Ooh. Oh, that's a dumb question. <laughs> I love you, Kristen. Um Beach Club well, maybe it's not a dumb question because Beach Club has like the legit pool. I know. But those poly bungalows have their own pool, private. If I, if, right, if like money is not an option, I'm going poly bungalow and I'm probably yeah. not leaving the bungalow. No, I, um, you know this, but I threw my best friend Stephanie's bachelorette yeah. in a Polynesian bungalow and we didn't even step foot in the parks. Why we would just you? We did the bungalow. Yeah, it was crazy like so cool you have everything that you want you can see the castle from your hut like yes my only complaint is that the boats go by and they make loud boat noises <laughs> in the middle That's of the fair. night but like in the middle oh yeah because they're like running like yeah i would it, yeah. a poly bungalow is definitely on my bucket list so i'm picking that nothing against beach club because yeah we're like we are definitely big fans of that pool so and it smells so good in Beach Club, Ugh. and everything is, like, nice and new. But the Polynesian bungalows also are very nice and new, so. And I also feel like the Poly bungalow is, like, something that's, like, really hard to get versus, like, yes. something at Beach Club. Like Yes. Yeah. Well, so and I will say, like, I've done a three-bedroom, never at, at Beach, but at, like, Animal, I've done a three-bedroom villa, which is, like, two stories and huge and, like, yeah. super deluxe. And they're really nice, like... I love the vibe. I love, and I've done it all on points. I'm not like a yeah, DVC yes, person. Course. I just live have, here and have, have DVC. Points. <laughs> but they're beautiful and nice, but like there's something really magical about transporting yourself to like a. It's the bungalow. Or an island. Yeah. And you can look great. out and, and see can, the like, castle. You can like to your room. Yeah. What'd you say? You can look out and see the castle. Yeah. It's nothing like it. And I've never even been there. Okay. Yeah. Um, Amanda. Wait, 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 oh. wait, wait. If we're going to a Polynesian bungalow, you can have a room. I'll have a room. Who gets the third? Ro- oh no, there is no third room. Done. Okay, great. Okay, great. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Okay, I'll check the points. Okay, awesome. Um, Amanda McCracken says, okay. "Would you rather be evacuated off the haunted mansion or spaceship Earth?" Ooh. Well. I personally have done the behind the scenes tour. Um, so I've been under the haunted mansion. Same. Which was awesome. Yes. Um, but because I've had that experience, I would definitely go with spaceship earth also because I like need. I think there's so many like secret rumors about that ride that I just like need to confirm or deny. Like I've heard that there's a lounge in the top when the car like spins backwards and you're in the stars. What? Yeah, I've heard there's, like, a lounge up there and, like, a place where people have weddings and stuff. I don't know. I- I'm also saying Spaceship Earth, and it's because every time I'm on that ride, I'm always saying, I want to see what this place looks like with the lights on. Yes, same. Although, like, the dust factor will probably be a little more gross it would on be- that ride because... Oh, yeah. Ha- Haunted Mansion's supposed to be dusty and gross, but, yes. like, Spaceship Earth is just, like, I mean, you can tell that place is nasty. But I, I want to see it. Me too. But also Haunted Mansion, I don't think we've ever talked about this on here, but isn't it like the funnest fact of all that there is no holographics in that ride? Yeah, I love that. So that would be also very cool to be evacuated off. But for some reason, I'm still sticking to Spaceship Earth. Same. Me too. Okay. Um, Is it Angelique? I think. I'm not even going to try her last name. name. Giram, perhaps. Um, would you rather go for a three to four night Disney wish cruise or a seven night or longer on any other Disney cruise ship? Ooh, I know this is a good one. Oh, that's a really good one because like more vacation or 
newer. Right. And I've, I can't name all of the ships that I've done a lot of the, I think I'm only missing like one of the older ships that I've sailed on, but I've never done the wish and I would love to see the wish. I'm also kind of a fan of like a three to four night cruise. Why? It's just like the perfect amount of time, especially if you're doing a Disney cruise. Like I am here for like a three to four night cruise and then like a couple days at the parks and getting the best of both worlds. Nice. So, and I guess it would also depend on like where your stops are. Yes. For like a longer cruise. Cause like, do you have a lot of days at sea? Cause if that's the case, then I'd probably rather not. Not that right. there's like, you'd rather be on the newer ship. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going I think I'm in the same boat. Disney wish for three to four nights. And yeah. you're guaranteed to be at Castaway Key. Because that's one of their stops. So I like that. And Castaway is just beautiful. The best place ever. Yeah. So I think that's my answer. I think that's my answer too. Go on the wish. Yeah. But also, like, let's check prices, because right, yeah. <laughs> if I go on, like, a seven-night cruise for the same price as the Disney Wish, well, then you're going to catch me on the seven-night cruise. Same. Okay. Um, Kristen Nan- Naninga, would you rather visit Disney Paris or Disney Shanghai? Oh, easy. Shanghai. Shanghai. Like, yes, it's going to be a longer flight, which I don't love, but... I've just heard crazy things about Shanghai. And I've also heard meh things about Paris. Same. Same and same. Shanghai. Shanghai. And like Paris, there's like a bad, I shouldn't even say this, but there's like a bad, like high suicide rate with people who work there. Really? Yeah. It's like not great. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what that's about, but like, that's no, thank you. That's no. Oh, that's yeah. Although I've heard that. I've heard that at Shanghai, um, a lot of the locals or like the, I don't know, like how I'm a local here, um, really don't care about the parks and they like trash them. What? They're not like respectful. Like they don't like put their trash in the trash can and they don't like, you know, throw away their dirty diapers and stuff like that. We need to make the trip someday. I, I can't See wait. What it is. Okay. Wendy May Short asks... Anna and Elsa or Chip and Dale? Duh. Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Like, yes, Anna is my favorite princess, but it's, it's Chip and Dale. It's Chip and Dale. They are always, like, hamming it up. Yeah. Especially, my, like, and, like, what are you asking? Are you asking, like, are, for a meet and greet? Is it Anna and Elsa right. versus Chip and Dale? Still Chip and Dale. It's right. It's always our best meet and greet. Yeah, they always, they ham it up. Like, they just know how to have fun. Agreed. My new favorite spot to sit is um, at Hollywood Studios at the Hollywood Brown Derby. At yes. their lounge, their outdoor lounge. Because you can Where just sit they... there and watch Chip and Dale, like, do their little set on the lawn. I was thinking, like, on my way to pod today about things that I like that have happened at Disney since COVID. And that is one of them. Oh, yeah. Like, sure, you can't really meet. Like, actually, they actually just started meeting in their Rescue Rangers costumes. Did you see that? No, but that kind of disappoints me because I'm not about the Rescue Rangers. <laughs> Fair. But you used to be able to just, like, meet them regularly. And it, I don't think that's a thing anymore. You just, like, watch them on the little grass area. But I think it's so yeah. cute. They're, like, picnic basket and their acorns. There's a couple of other characters that do that, too. I know that, like, Pooh is out, like, catching bees mm-hmm. in Epcot. And I think that's really cute. Agreed. Kind of gives a... Um, Disneyland vibe of like yeah, wandering a total Disneyland vibe characters. Okay, we have three more. Kristen Rebello says deluxe resort and shorter trip or value resort and longer trip. Ooh, I'm gonna go with a deluxe resort only because I'm a local, so like I can go to the parks anytime, so I don't hold as much value on park time as I do on like like I would go to a deluxe resort and just not go to the parks. See, I, this is where it's like hard with the question because I would prefer a deluxe resort for a longer trip because I wouldn't do the parks. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do the parks as much and then I would enjoy more time with the hotel and like the pools and stuff. But like the question is, if you only okay, have right. X number of dollars, 
You're right. You can't do the long trip in the nice hotel. Okay. You got to do the short trip okay. in the nice hotel or the long trip in the value hotel. Well, I still think I'm deluxe with a shorter trip because, like, I'm just not a full day park right. girl. So, like, I'm still taking my midday break and probably going to check out the resort. Same. That's my final answer. Katrina Johnson, would you rather get a free annual pass for life or free resort stays for five years? Ooh, That's annual a pass good for life. One. Also annual pass for life. Yeah. I just think that's more for money. Right. More value. I'm like adding it up. Yeah. I think it's more value. And I can stay at your house. Yeah. Yeah. Come stay at my house. <laughs> okay. Last one. Don Rizzer says free VIP tours or free Genie Plus. Oh, VIP tours. VIP tours. That's like a dream of mine. Because like VIP tour comes with Genie Plus basically only it, better. Well, right. Yeah. Um, and then also, there was two on the on here. Sorry, would you rather be a princess or a character for a day at Walt Disney World? I love this. A princess or a character? Yeah. So I I'm gonna take this as would you rather be like a princess face character, or would you rather be like a non face character like Chippendale? Ah, uh, I mean, like, if I could pull off being like Ariel for the day, then like, why what are we? I? What are we doing? Yeah, true. Like, are we in parade? Right. Are we like, interacting? Am I just, like, in Festival of Fantasy, like, ooh, doo, 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 doing my thing? Yeah, right. I'll be tanking that. Oh, yeah. Or am I, like, having to, like, hug strangers? True, true, true. true. You know? That's a good point, because, like, I'm sure Ariel gets her fair share of uh, creeps. And I, well, I'm not being Ariel in the Festival of the Fantasy Parade. My abs. Why? Because my abs are not cut out for that. Uh, well, you're right. Her, but I'm like, saying, like, if I was her, her, you would have no choice. Thin? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That core You would just be, workout? like, shredded. You're right. You're right. All right. It would be the dream. Fine. So, what's your answer? Who would you be in Festival of Fantasy? I do love Tink in that. She's so cute on her little flower. Um... I just, like, have a dream to be Anna, though. Just, like, standing there? I know. She's kind of boring in that particular parade. Yeah. Um, I would also be, like, one of the bubble people. I know it's not a princess, but... Oh, yeah. No, I love the bubble people. Like, on the swings? Yes. Would love that. Yes. Heard. Yeah. Yeah, or, like, if we were in Phantasmic, what would you be in Phantasmic? I have Definitely not, not Ariel. I don't want the sheet... <laughs> over my face. I I haven't seen Fantasmic in so long. Well, then you're a disappointment. I know. I'm sorry. I would be Moana for the record. I was gonna say to Moana because she gets to walk on water, and that's all yeah. I know about that. Well, hey, hey, would you fly? Would you be Tank and fly and happily ever after? I don't know. Really? I like. I think yes, but like conditions would have to be perfect i <laughs> i have heard that they literally for like your audition for that strap you to a crane I, it's probably a lie but like there's just, like swing you around no way there's got to be like a safety thing with that come on i'm just saying because it's probably a test for like when it's really windy or like yeah, but whatever. then she doesn't fly you're right you're right i i would try it i guess it's like a zip line right yeah maybe I would. She gets really high hazard pay, so, like, I would take that. I would for sure do. I would do it for fun. Yeah? One time. Like, in the full light-up outfit? Yeah. With, yeah, right? Oh, like, I, I need the bun, though. The light-up bun. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But also, just, right. like, I've been ziplining before, and I screamed my head off, so I can't imagine you're just, like, with your wand, so right. casual about it. Like. Yeah. She's so chill. But I would do it. I I think I would do it. I mean, if the opportunity presented itself, how could you say no? Well, right. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. Anywho, that's all I got for you today. I love it. That was a good one. I'm so glad we got to talk about our moms. Me too. They're special. They are so special. And we wouldn't be able to do what we did without what we've done without them. 
are you not one last thing? What are you doing? Oh, you're making your mom a cake. Making my mom a cake. Um, and we're going to go up and hang out with her for Mother's Day. I don't mm-hmm. know what we're going to do yet. She she likes to keep it simple. Go get hibachi. Fair. Fair. Yeah. Um, I booked my mom and my Grammy, because they'll know after this, um, like a cooking class. Cute. We're, we're going like, to go make raviolis. Um, You're going to go too? Yeah. And it's in a couple cool. weeks. So like that's like their gift. But um, Ashley and I were trying to think of something that we could like actually do for mom. And she, I was like, what if we, like, go fix up her little garden? Because she has, like, a garden bed. And then yeah. I went over there the other day, and she's, like, already started planting little garden things in her little pop-up greenhouse. But I think we're Cute. still going to, like, go and, like, all of us together will fix up her raised garden bed so then she can, like, replant into there. Because my dad, like, built her this whole thing. So that's what we're going to do. Cool. Inside. I love that. How thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to see my mother-in-law, like, too. Shout out to my mother-in-law as well. Um, yeah. We're doing all the stops on Sunday. Yes. I'm going to try nice. to make homemade Pop-Tarts. Oh, you've done that before. I've never made homemade Pop-Tarts. I've made, like, homemade cinnamon rolls, but I'm going to try to make homemade Pop-Tarts. What flavor? Cinnamon. <laughs> oh, they're the best kind. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Anywho. All right. Well, next week, we have some exciting news that we're going to share. We do. So we hope you tune in. Yeah. So we'll see you next week. We will not be missing another episode. Sorry about that. Nope. This one is critical. <laughs> yeah, it's so important. Okay. Anywho. We'll see you next week. Love you mean it. Love you mean it. Love the fans. All y'all. Hey. All y'all. Can y'all leave us a review? We haven't had any in a while. Yeah. Leave us a review. Drop Please? a review. Please. Please. Okay. That's all. All right. We'll see you next week. (laughs) See you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.